welcome back to mapping school. Tomorrow is not going to be a very long video. It's just going to be one topic, and that is how to open doors with cameras. Now that might sound confusing at first, but I'll show you what I mean. So in this basic room I made, there's this switch and there's another switch over here. Both switches open this door, but if I go over here and use the switch, I don't see the door opening. So you can implement a little camera that automatically moves over here to show that the door opens and then moves back to the player. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Back in Tiled, you can see that I made a very basic room, as you just saw, with one switch and another switch both opening the same door. Now for the camera to move to a specific location to show that a door or anything else uh, happens, you need to place a marker. So for that, you can either click this icon uh, up here and click anywhere and then go into the type and type marker and then call it whatever you want. Or you could alternatively go into the debug map, take the door marker in the starter pack and copy it and paste it in here and put it close to the door or anything else that you want to show was happening. So how do we script that when you press this switch, the camera moves to this location and you can see the door opening. For that we'll need Notepad. Okay, so back in Notepad you can see that I made a very basic script for the map. You can see switch 1A opens door 1 and switch 1B opens door 1. I shortcutted the names because I, got, I get lazy and you can start doing that, but as long as you know what it is, it's fine. So first of all, I'm gonna comment this out. So that means the text, uh, the script won't run this line or anything that is beyond the hashtag in this row. So I'm gonna go to uh, row three, doesn't have to be row three, but I'm just gonna leave one empty row between all the code. So first of all, we need to declare two variables. We need to declare a variable for an event after which the door will open and we need an event for a sweep that is the camera movement like the camera moving to the marker so first of all you gotta think of any combination of words or something like that to keep them apart i'm just gonna uh, keep using s1 and then for you to better know what which one the event is you can either do underscore event event or e or e doesn't really matter how you type it I'm just gonna do underscore event so it's easier to see what as well equals open bracket sweep underscore event in all caps open bracket close bracket close bracket semicolon and then next I'm gonna declare the second parable which I'm just gonna call s1 underscore sweep equals open bracket, sweep, open bracket, close bracket, close bracket, then an arrow, then you want to open a square bracket, and then type whatever name you gave the marker. In this case, I called it d1 underscore marker. Then do a comma, type duration, zero, comma, and speed, zero, and then close. Then, we're going to do the same thing again, but this time with s1 event, comma, duration, zero, speed, zero. This is just the event happening, uh, so that means this will go through here, nothing will happen, we'll go through here again, uh, still nothing will happen, but after this, uh, the door will open, which will, which I'll do in a row beneath. Then you want to do the same thing again for our last time, and this time again, d1 underscore marker, comma, duration, and then whatever duration you want. 
Four or five is a good number if you want to open normal doors, like the big four block tall, uh, four tile high block. Uh, and then whatever number you want. Four or five works for the doors. So I'm just gonna use four, comma, speed, one. Semicolon. Enter. And then you can either leave how many enters you want, but I'm just gonna leave two so you can see whether variables are declared and whether the actual stuff will happen. So right, what well, S1A Arrow Does S1 sweep and then extra open bracket wait for event <coughs> and then S1 event and then it will open door one save and back into the game. Back in the game after refreshing, you'll notice if you pull the lever or switch, the camera will move over here, where I put the marker, open the door, and move back. But you may have noticed that as soon as I put it down, it instantly moved the camera over here. So we want to build in a little delay. Back in Notepad, we can't, we're gonna go up here to where the switch is, and then to another event, but between those we want a delay. Now you can decide how long the delay is going to be, I'm just going to do 0.5, you can do it 5 as well but then it will just take forever and no one likes to wait. And you can use the delay anywhere, but especially for the camera movement it's mandatory for it to look good, I guess. Back to the game after refreshing. I will pull down a lever. It waits a tiny bit and then moves the camera over here. And then boom. The door is open. Thank you for watching Mapping School. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that I help. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing next time, but yeah, this is... This was Mapping School for you, but bye.